I served my life as a soldier. I joined as soon as I could. And I'll tell you this also, I loved every minute of it. And if you can find something in life that you want to do, your profession, your career, your thing in life, whatever it is, if you can find something and get the opportunity to do what you love, it, it never is work. I loved every single minute of it. There were days that I did not like, but I always loved being a soldier, and I continue to all be a soldier till the day I die, despite the fact that I'm not wearing a uniform right now. So I was privileged to serve with 100,000 men and women across our nation, around the world. I served in 63 different countries. You know, one of the things that struck me with pride, and probably the thing that gave me the greatest pride, in fact, was in that 35 years plus of service, I wore that beautiful Canadian flag on my left shoulder. Because I'll tell you, it represents what I believe to be the number one country in the world. All right, don't you ask Step one, you inspire people. Step two, you draw inspiration from them. And we made it our focus that we were going to look after our men and women in uniform and their families because they were the ones when they're successful, we're going to make us successful. I encourage you to take that same approach. If you focus on people, set them up for success, look after them, they will be successful. And consequently, you as a leader will be successful. We looked after men and women like this in the picture right here. And you know, when you ask them to do uh, very tough, demanding, risky things, you need to be obvious in your leadership to inspire them. You to make leadership personal, make it your mantra, make it your credo, and focus on people, and you're going to be okay as a leader. When you are a leader, your actions speak loudly. You know, people talk a lot, but you actually, and they talk about values and ethics and all those things, but you can't see those words, can you? But you can see their actions, and actions will articulate your values and your ethics far better than any words you can use. I used a lot of words when I took over Canadian Forces. I talked about we're changing and our transformation. And you know what happened? People's eyes glazed over. And all of a sudden, this time they're serious. And here's what occurred from that. Those men and women who've been listening to the words about transformation, but coming to work and carrying on the same old way, all of a sudden they brought not just their body to work, but they brought their mind to work also. And that's the most important thing that you can possibly get. Uh, is inspiring them enough that they bring not only their body, but their mind to work and help you accomplish whatever it is you're trying to do.